Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the September 2022 edition of Talk to Trev. Lots of talk out there about whether or not we're in an overvalued real estate market. Quite frankly, I don't know. There was a report by Moody's recently that said we're overvalued, but I don't know if it can be done by a math equation, by a guy sitting in an office trying to create math to figure out whether we're overvalued or not. What I do know is we had a long run of appreciation that caught Phoenix up to other major metropolitan areas. That entire run though, if you look at the median sale price for our homes, it's 444. The baseline for the country is 412,000. So we're not that far above the baseline. We are a major city. So to think that we're dramatically overvalued, I think is probably a little bit specious. I don't buy it. But what does it mean to be an overvalued market? I don't know. Frankly, I don't. Where is the market going? Not sure. What are the analysts saying? It's mixed. What do most of the local people say? We'll probably hit a little bit of a of a decrease in value, but we're still way ahead of where we started this year. You look year over year, we're 21% up. So who knows? But what I do know is that supply and demand are, are at play. We have market dynamics that are at play here. Those market dynamics include supply and demand. Again, buying and selling homes is about as open market as we get in this country. So what is the supply of homes and what's the demand? We're bringing 200 people plus here to Phoenix a, a day, and we're pulling 40, 60 new home build permits a week. The math doesn't add up. So even if we hit a period of slowness in the market, we hit a little period where prices level, go down, pop off the bottom, this is what we're seeing. If, if we're seeing this right now, what does it mean for long-term? What does it mean for being overvalued? I don't know, but what I do know is we don't have enough supply for the demand, and we don't have enough supply over the last several years of building homes for the demand. We don't have enough supply for what we believe is going to be the demand of moving to the city and continued population growth. So whether we're overvalued on a long-term proposition is different than short-term. Whether we're currently in a short-term position where we're overvalued, I don't know. I don't know. You get to make the determination for yourself and your family as to what the best move is for you. Again, the longer your duration of ownership, the more insulation you have against these market forces. So if you wanna to talk to yourself, you wanna beat me up, you wanna bounce ideas off of, you, off of me, you wanna challenge me, you wanna come up with, um, with, with some of your thoughts and share them with me, please, I love this stuff. I wanna talk about it all day. So feel free, you can call me at 602-595-4200. You can text me at that number as well. Hit me up on social media. Uh, I love to talk about this stuff. Thanks so much for watching.